I know, right? Here's a program. Here, run a farm. <laughs> Riley, are you still here? What the how do you feel about Wideman? Mr. Wide Man? Curious. <laughs> How do you feel about Chris Weidman? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like that, but like also him in general. I've been seeing a lot of Habs fans who are like, dude, this guy sucks. The tank commander. I have, I have some other Habs fans who Habs fans friends who were saying that he sucks, but Damn. he's new to the team this year, right? Huh. 
Montreal Canadiens, best surprise, Harvey Pinard. I agree with that. Biggest disappointment, Joel Edmondson. I mean, he's a greaser, right? Like, tough guy, so. Just a big defenseman, large body. Oh, injury prone, okay. Unfortunate. Harvey Pernard, though. Future's looking bright. Imagine a line of Suzuki, Caulfield, and Harvey Pernard. What's Bedard? Oh, sorry, yeah, that's the Bedard spot. Sorry, I was looking at something. It's true, though. That is the spot for Connor Bedard. Habs legend Connor Bedard. You guys believe Shane Wright is going to the playoffs? Sign up for the playoffs, though, right? Right? Oh, let's try two X swings here. Yeah, this works. It is what it is. I know the Leafs are gonna have to pull some magic to get Nias to sign, but I'm sure it'll work out. I think putting Nias... I think it's it's basically you put either Nias in the top six or Yarn goes in the top six. And then the top six is Bunting, Matthews, Nylander, Martyr, Tavares, Blank. Either that, or you put O'Reilly on the second line and Tavares at the wing, which has kind of worked out pretty well. And then you have Yarn and Nyes in the bottom six and have the most stacked third line in the league. Can you imagine? Yeah, it doesn't seem like a bottom six guy, I agree. Which 
probably leads to O'Reilly being third line center, but I don't I don't love O'Reilly on the third line either. Maybe on the top line and then Bunting goes to the bottom six, but Yeah, it, it might end up being Bunting. And then the first line is Nyes, Matthews, and then one of Nylander, Marner. Okay, two X swings seems like the method. Because then in-game time is just not a concern at all. Either way, Leafs top nine is going to be kind of stupid. Kind of stupid. And then the fourth line is, you know, whatever assortment of Lafferty, Akari, Camp. Maybe as Reezer the Greaser. Maybe even Abruzizi. Why not? <laughs> Biggest question mark is, can Sammy hold up in the playoffs and not get hurt? <laughs> Alright, do we have a run? We do. Let's go. Worth it for all those resets. Alright, I just have to not make mistakes like I did last night. But I was also drinking last night, so hopefully we're fine. If the Habs get Bedard, they push for a playoff spot next year. Yeah, yeah, probably. I feel like they gotta do something about their defense and something about the goalie situation, but it's easy to see it happening. It's like it's it's easy to imagine Bedard just straight carrying a team, and then they've got a lot of like the forward depth is pretty good when they're healthy. The forward depth is absolutely there. Yeah, and Allen's Allen's okay. Allen can do it. If, if you have Bedard along with Caulfield and Suzuki and freaking Harvey Pinard, I, I, I agree, he's mid. I'm assuming Monty's gone at the end of this season. gets signed at the end of the year. He's an RFA. So I think as long as as long as he does well in the playoffs, I think there's a good chance that we get Sammy for another year at least. Thank <laughs> you. 
One to twenty two here. Yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah, I'm on T for another year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, obviously the biggest question mark for Montreal going forward is the defense situation. Who's the best D on Montreal right now? Is it is it Ghoul? However you pronounce his name, Goulet. Slaffer. Big Slavsky. But something about this, man. It's interesting how so many, so many of the top draft picks for last year just ended up just not working out. Alright, we are going to sleep. We are not going outside. I'm going to sleep after the house and Carl cutscene. And then I'm going to go by the bed before Blue. Like, who's the best player out of the draft this last year? Was Beneers drafted this year or was it last year? I guess maybe the... Who did New Jersey get? Didn't New Jersey get a new guy that's been kind of good? Or has he not been playing yet? Oh, that's supposed to be a split, but whatever. So we got Carl. Oh, they drafted a D. It didn't. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who, who played this year. Spelling correction there, Riley. I am not going outside. I am sleeping in my bed. As long as I buy the bed and we find blue. The run is real. Going this way. in here, you're golden. He's here. Oh. Alright, here we go, gamers. Oh. Oh. We are going to 155. 
All right, there's one more mistake I can make at the very end of this run, but assuming I don't do that and we find him on the last day, we gotta run. Strap in. <laughs> so Riley, have you started working yet? Oh. Is work going okay? Oh. It's started? Okay, good luck. I hope it's not boring as shit. I hope it's less boring than this speedrun. Oh. 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 The best part about this speedrun is that we get to listen to the animal noises. The horse will sometimes go... Sometimes the cow says moo. And we might also even hear a bat every now and then. <laughs> Hit the amaranth horse. Get out of the way. Oh. Yeah, this is actually a bit of a problem if Bob gets closer. Oh. It's gonna quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> oh. Just hope he doesn't force his way over this way. Oh. Right, he's fucking off. Good. I swear to God, we'll get to you. Your speed runs next. Promise. Hey, look, he's stoked. Just leave me alone for now. Approximately one third of the way there. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Don't worry. Some of these characters have incredibly obnoxious, uh, obnoxious sound effects. This one is very tame compared to some of them. Just wait till we get to Dan. You guys are actually going to mute the stream. I swear to God. Oh. Feels like we're moving. I didn't feel like there was this gap that he could fit in before. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. He was so unproblematic last time I did this. Start walking away there, bud. Oh, oh you don't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's sure doing it. Okay, he's going that way. Oh. To this corner. Starting to walk away. Oh. I swear to God, oh. leave us alone. <laughs> whole other half of the barn you can go around and explore, my dude. You don't have to keep oh. hanging around here. I promise you, we're not interested. Oh. 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 
Final 55. Why is it every time he starts walking away, the, the put away stops him? But the one time he walks back in this direction, he goes all the goddamn way. Thank you. Oh, I accidentally ate one. <laughs> I was just so distracted by it. <laughs> uh. Pretty much, Riley. And then there's one little segment we do with um, with a mountain climb. Oh. <laughs> yep, this is this is the speed run. Oh. And yeah, unskippable cutscenes. God, I wish this game had skippable cutscenes. Oh. Yeah, this should be Lana's time. Oh. This should be about. <laughs> I want to say this is be a, oh. this will be about a forty three. Maybe a 44. Oh. 43 would be good. It's unfortunate I ate that one milk, but oh. take it in stride. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> no, all the marriages are like this. All of the marriages are like this, except for Jamie. So Jamie is special because they are the rival character. Um, because you need to, not only do you need to get them up to eight hearts, um, you need to heal the Harvest Goddess in order to marry them, which requires you to get 50 notes. And Jamie is the only character where this gift spamming tech does not work. So... Because of that, the run is significantly longer. Like, three hours long as opposed to 40, 45 minutes. Luckily, I've already done that one, so the rest of the marriages should be free, quote unquote free. All marriages would just be Jamie with extra steps, so I don't know. But you are not the first person to bring up all marriages. Oh. But it is possible. It's even possible. You can even dupe the blue oh. feather and give it to different people. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's the engagement ring, yeah. It is, yeah. That's like that's like consistent across the Harvest Moon franchise. Yeah, as long as they have eight hearts, you have a big house and a big bed, and you have met Alex, then they will accept it. Yeah, 
Pretty weird, huh? Oh. Alright, five more. Oh. 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 Double check here. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so we're putting out the large bed, breaking the glitch, and as long as it's sunny, we go outside. It's not sunny, dude. That sucks. Now we have to watch the Bob cutscene. Or not the Bob, the blue cutscene. Unless we get. Rain or cloud on spring nine. Or maybe, maybe I sleep through spring eight. Yeah, let's sleep through spring eight. <clears throat> no, that's fine. That's just very unlucky. We roll. No rain or cloud, please. No rain. Done. Okay, great. Should be fine. Unfortunately, a little bit of a time loss there, but we need to sleep through Spring 8 anyway, so it could have been way worse. Probably about 20 seconds of time lost there. Alright, so this is the last little RNG section of the run. And as long as this goes well... And you can find blue afterwards, then you're good. But the fact that we get this at all means we've met the marriage requirements, so there's no chance of me making mistakes. All right. Thanks for the luck, Aludra. Just gotta pray that the mountain climb is nice to us today. There are gusts of wind that occur during this. This is going to be a rightward wind. Stop. So the problem with the gust is not only does it move you, but uh, it also lags the game by a lot. <laughs> the only good one is the upwards draft. This is bad. Need, yeah, not much I can do there. Again, sometimes the mound just says you don't get to, you don't get to win. Not a single updraft. Nope. Okay. <laughs> not much. How about you, Hal? Okay, that was definitely a below average mountain climb, but what can you do? Yeah, the fact that you have to do it every time, kind of fucked up. Yeah, this should be a 43, I think. 
Well, that might be a 44, actually. Pretty bad mountain climb luck. Lost some time to the blue. Gift spamming because of Bob and eating the milk by mistake. But. Meatball. If this is a 44, I'm a little sad, but I'm not going to waste my time getting another run. Yeah, I think this is a 44, actually. Unfortunate. Yeah, this is definitely a 44. Oh, blue's outside. Okay. We might actually save a little bit of time here. That's kind of nice, at least. Oh. Like, I was going to give you one. Yeah, sure, bud. Sure, budge. Fine, I'll take a 44. Not sure there's anything I could do there other than have a good mountain climb, but even then, I don't know if a better mountain climb would have saved it. Or would have resulted in a 43. I guess there was the bad luck with the weather too, but I don't think that lost as much time as it might have appeared. Okay, actually, it's looking like it's going to be a little bit closer to a 43 than I would have thought. So yeah, maybe with better luck this could be a 43 then. I just got pretty unlucky towards the end, so what can you do? Also pretty bad Bob luck. Yeah. I'm just I'm just the unluckiest player alive. <laughs> this hat still says USI. It's so funny. USI stands for uh, Female Body Inspector. Yeah, this is like a 4430. A little bit faster than Alex. I'm surprised that this is only slightly faster than Alex. Dog runs away too. 